Good morning. So it's at ball football in the morning with some coffee. This is the NFL 1958 uh, season. This is the very first game of the season. The Chicago Bears at their rival Green Bay Packers. Uh, this, I'm finally, I got my defensive cards in the deck, and I'm finally going to have a chance to use these defensive cards. It's a uh, pretty epic um, what I love about the cards is they dictate both the offense and the defense. All I got to do is make the play call, roll the dice up, call the play, pick the target, roll the defense, find out what the the, the uh, modifiers are. I don't have to do any other stuff, which is going to be cool. And here's why it's so cool, because the defensive card factors in the difference between the two teams, which is so cool. So, for instance, the Bears in this game are plus nine against the worst defense I've seen in the app offset. The Green Bay Packers, a 27-rated defense. And the Packers, against one of the best defenses I've seen, uh, the Packers are minus 12 against this amazing 42-ranked Bears. So one thing I love about the defensive cards is they really do account for every difference between the, 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 the offense and defensive index. So in the base game, everything's going to be unless you're greater than 9 or worse than 9. And that's, I mean, that's a big deal. So this would be that for one team at least. But the cards, they factor as much as negative 1 to plus 1, all the way up to plus 25 to negative 25, or 26. So we do get a subtle nuances in every every moment of the game with these cards. And I don't have to call anything but the target and the play call. So let's find out. My very first game ever with these defensive cards. And again, knowing that, with my charts, by the way, Apple, I'm going to play my express charts, my express rules, but I'm using the defensive cards, and it'll still, it'll still affect these adjustments. But um, we should definitely see Chicago at plus 9 and Green Bay at minus 12 over the course of a, a game. It should uh, uh, Chicago should should find a way, unless there's some amazing plays here. Dice, dice determine everything, so I don't care what the ratings are. When you roll 11s and 12s and 66 for a bad team, they're going to have success, right? Uh, just set up for viewer uh, information. I have my old clock. The, the, I had to go into the shed to take out my 1957, 58, and 59 sets. And with that said, I forgot I had my clock and my quarter thing there for, for viewers, for easy viewing. But um, don't really need them, right? Uh, but So here we go. The uh, Chicago Bears are going to be receiving the ball. Uh, Paul Hornick kicking it off. The Golden Boy kicking it off for the Green Bay Packers from Notre Dame. The kickoff is going to come out to the three-yard line and returned by, let's see here, returned by Morris. Johnny Morris of Clara, uh, California Santa Barbara and 64. His return is 36. He's bringing it out 10 yards. Wow, to the 13. So the Bears with an auspicious start, or inauspicious start, right, early in the game. Is that, I, I never get that right. Is it auspicious start? You know, that's why I never get. All right, we're going to run the ball with Willie Gill Gallimore. I don't, I, and it doesn't matter inside or outside, short, medium, long, because my charts are just run past. So I'm just going to run Willie Gallimore, and then I roll the defense. 16, the 16, the defense says it's AS, so that means we're going to need to modify this column, down one, 42, we only modify the first 22 numbers, and 9, down one, so 9, down one is 8, so he went from 2 yard run to a 6 yard run, thanks to the AS adjustment, so he picked up 4 yards already, so that defense already surrendered 4 more yards against the run, using those cards, it's so cool, alright, uh, we have the uh, one and only from Florida, Ricardo, Rick Casares, Casares, and we're going to run uh, Rick Casares now, by the way, it's second and four, uh, and it's going to be 26, Man, I'm going to love these cards, 26 is BS, so no modifier at all, Rick gets whatever I roll, and I roll a 34, so this is all on Rick, 25, nowhere, third down, that's not good, we're going to go ahead and pitch it to Gallimore, we're not going to start off throwing the ball here on the road against the bad defense, we're going to keep running, Willie Gallimore, and the roll is 13 this time. It is C column and standard, so I'm going to add one to Willie Gallimore. So this ain't great, but again, that shows that they were that they had somebody in the right position. 15 is 7, add one is 8. 8 is 6 yards for Gallimore, so Gallimore is averaging 6 yards of carry, folks. First down, holy cow, third and uh, three, or third and four, and he rumbles for another 6. So Gallimore turning into the back we all expected him to be. 
All right, Caceres going to get the call again. I'm going to pound the rock with these guys. 31, defense says CS. So, again, they're caught in a C uh, index. That's going to be a plus one to this number. 21, add one to the number. 22, add one is 23. He gets two yards. One, two. And 22 is the last number you'll adjust in my charts. Second and eight. All right, we're going to go ahead and put the ball in the air for, to Bratkowski. And, again, I don't have to worry about calling run defenses or pass defenses. It's dictating all of that right here. I just All i got to do is pick what I want to do. Uh, we're going to go pass to Harlan Hill. I ignore his uh, receiver grade because this is going to determine the receiver grade. Or the, or the, or the modifier. Oh, 55. It's going to be... Uh, it's it's a B column, but they're in the right defense. So I'm going to add one to Bartowski's number. 56 is 20. Add one is 21. Incomplete. Third down, almost intercepted there. It's third and nine, or third and eight. We're going to look for the tight end, Big Bill McCall from Stanford. And it's going to be 41. Boy, I love these cards. 41 is AS. So we're going to get a minus, a no standard. So they're staying in a safe defense. Bartowski's going to get to subtract one from this. 36. 36 is 20. Minus one is 19, but that's still going to fall incomplete as Bratkowski cannot complete a pass. And it is fourth down. We're going to have no choice but to punt. So we're going to trot out the punter. Ooh, and I, this is by far, I've said this before, I've talked about this uh, uh, candidly in many videos in, in my years. 1958, uh, the NFL 1958 season is my single favorite season of all time. And it features really some of my favorite teams and players of all time. But in particular, that Baltimore Colts team is probably my, uh, in New York, New York and Baltimore, that was just a great championship. I love both those teams. So there's so much for, I mean, this is just, I've, I've played this set quite a bit. 61, uh, see here, 61 on the punt is 19. 19 is 45 and a fair catch. How about that? 3, 10, 20, 40, and 2. So fair catching the ball there at the 28-yard uh, line is uh, Albert Hoagie Carmichael of USC. So Carmichael with a fair catch. And that was also our backup quarterback, or maybe you could argue starting quarterback. Uh, I may end up bringing in Brown, but our punter is Brown slash quarterback. Blanda is our kicker, and he's also our disaster quarterback, is Blanda. So Chicago, two good runs, got a first down. Gilmore gets a, a couple of good runs, ends up with a first down. And then, unfortunately, Bretkowski can't complete a pass. They are forced to punt. The clock now, because I'm doing possessions, the clock is an abstract number. You can assume about three minutes, almost three minutes gone off the board, basically, in the first quarter. It's first down. Now we're going to get to see this offense. Uh, their defense is horrible. Well, their offense is a 30. It's also one of the lowest I have ever seen. So this is before the Packers became the Packers. All right, so Bart Starr, though, is still the starting quarterback with Jim Taylor uh, uh, and Jim Shanley in the backfield, uh, Billy Houghton, Steve Meilinger, and Don, uh, Don Henley is the Z back, or the third back. Um, Chicago is running just a, a two-back set with three receivers. I am running a three-back Z back set with Don McElhaney as the other back. And with that said, I'm going to actually pitch it out to Don McElhaney to start. And we check this for their defense. So Chicago is putting them at a minus 12. This ought to be brutal. Ought to be brutal. However, it looks like it's backwards. So I'm not certain I'm using these cards right. 52, because there's a lot of A and B columns here, which, which seems counterintuitive to a bad offense. So I'm doing this wrong. I mean, there's more C's on that plus 9 card. This is all A's and B's columns. So see, something is amiss. I'm not doing these right. 52. 52 on a run is BD, right? So, oh, well, they're in the wrong defense, though. So that's going to be a modifier from McElhaney. So maybe I'm just not reading it right yet. 21 down 1 is 20. It's going to be 3 yards. Well, it, it got he got 2 more than he should have. 1, 2, 3. So how about that? 2nd and seven. We're going to go ahead and throw the ball to Houghton. Short pass. 62. The defense states. So now they're in an AS. Uh, so this just seems like it's too good to be true. So minus one. Here we go. 42 is 21. Minus one is 20. Incomplete. That's on Bart Starr. I think I've got these backwards because there's a lot of C's here. And no C's here. Well, one C it looks like. So this card 
is really a good card for offense. Compare the defense's team point total to the offensive team's point total. They're 42, right, to 30 minus 12. So why so many A's here? Yeah, look at this. Plus 25 are all C's. And minus 25s are all A's. So I've got them backwards. This should be a plus 12. That or the cards are backwards. Yeah, look at the C's. C's and B's. Okay, so we've got this backwards. That's that's just not cool. Um, put that 9 back. So it's, it should be... All right, so... Not as intuitive as I would have liked to see here on these cards. Because um, they're at a minus 12. And the A column is a bad thing. You would not want the A column. I mean, the A column is a good thing. So for them to have so many A column options, that's, uh, that's counterintuitive. Which means the Bears should be on the minus 9 card. Yeah, see, B's and A's, only a couple C's. See, yeah, see, I had it backwards, I think. So the Bears, yeah, minus, that is completely, folks, counterintuitive, unless I'm still not doing something right. Because even if I took team totals, which you don't do, it's offense versus defense, it says right here, compare the defense's team total, 42, with the offense's team's 30, that's, my, that's 12, so, oh, their defense is 12 points better than them. Ah, ha, 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 I get it. I get it. I get it. And their uh, defense, their defense is nine points worse than the Bears. Okay, so it's just, I'm just, uh, I was just, it seemed counterintuitive, but now I see what it's, I do, I see what's going on here. All right, sorry about that, folks. So the first drive for the Bears wasn't as good as it could have been, and the drive here for the uh, Packers, we're gonna find out. Okay, so I rolled a 42 for that pass. It was incomplete. It's third down. We're going to have to keep the ball in the air. We're going to go, uh, we're going to pass it out to uh, McElhaney as well here. But I love that these cards do everything for me. I just got to call the play. 36. 36 is CS. So they're in a C. That is what I want to see. That's going to be a bad thing, but it's standard. So these guys are playing it safe. So Bart Starr is going to add one to this run number, or to this number. 62 is 17. Add one, 18. Incomplete. Fourth down. That's what I want to see. And, folks, that is going to make Atball. The subtle nuances now and uh, the difference between offense and defense is going to be greater than the B index all the time, and I absolutely do love that. All right, Max McGee into punt. 31. McGee's going to boot this uh, 53 yards, 9, 19, 29, 39, 49, and 4 is 53 yards. That is a heck of a kick. And fielding this is going to be Johnny Morris. Or Caroline. No, we're going to make it Johnny Morris. 56. Johnny Morris goes 24. That's going to be one yard. So he gets a punt return yard there. Boom. So a couple of punts. Chicago did at least get a first down on their opening drive. They did show some flashes. We're already into the uh, roughly the nine-minute mark of the first quarter. It's been an exchange of punts. And the reality is here, Chicago's losing field position. They drove it out punted, and bam, they're actually further back than they started their first drive. So Chicago is in the losing end of field position right now. But we're going to try to flip that over with a Caceres run. And I get to use this minus nine card. So I was just, re uh, so it's basically a positive versus minus. So completely confusing to me, but it's okay. 41. 41 is AS. So see, they're in an A. So that's going to be a, 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 a positive for Caceres. Uh, 18 is going to move him down to uh, 17. Eight yards for Caceres. That is exactly the subtle tweaks I want to see. So my charts, although they appear to be less dynamic, this, these cards are going to create nice changes and subtleties. It's not so predictable. All right, we're going to go ahead and run Caceres again. Why? Because I like Caceres. Here it is. 44. Ooh. 44 is AG. They're in the right defense. So it's going to counter. So, the, so in my chart, A is backward. G is forward, right defense. So he gets to whatever he rolls, he gets. 24. So it's very, it's going to get fast for me. 24 is one yard. Third down. Caceres, we got to convert this. He needs one yard. We're going to give it to Gallimore for the one yard. Come on, Gallimore. 12. 12 is pass defense, and it's standard. So we're going to get to subtract one from Gallimore's roll here. 43. 
43 is actually 30, and we don't modify, um, we don't modify down that low, so minus one. So the Green Bay Packers on a short yardage trip up Gallimore for a negative one yard loss, and they're gonna be forced to punt again. And we are in a dogfight here, folks. Wow, that was awesome. So Green Bay, despite being a bad defense, they will make plays, right? There's no such thing as a team that stinks all the time. They don't stink on every single down. 62, 62 is 6, another good punt, 46 yards, 10, 20, 30, 40, and 6. And we're going to get to see Carmichael return it, and he's going to get fair catch. So they, again, Packers, despite their condition, are actually slowly winning field position. They're at the 29, first and goal. Uh, the Bears started that at the 16, so that's a positive that is a positive 13 yards for Green Bay in field position swap there. But it, neither team has shown any any uh, look like they're going to score. All right, here we go. Um, Green Bay takes over. Roughly three minutes left in the first quarter. And Green Bay is going to run James Taylor here. Here we go, 51. It's going to be a ground defense. So Taylor's going to start out at a disadvantage. However, he gets great blocks. And he's going to go 11 yards. Holy cow. Big Jim Taylor. Jim Taylor of uh, LSU. 6'1", 214. He was the fullback who helped him win five consecutive NFL titles. I think they were consecutive. Five in a row? I think so. All right. First down. We're going to give Shanley a pitch out. And 36. 36 is C. So, again, the defense is standard, but we're shifting into C. That represents the quality of this offensive line making holes. So when I talk about how brilliant, if you can get your head around abstract, you know, why Alpa is so good abstractly, that C does not represent um, the quality of, uh, of the uh, defense as a play call. It represents the quality of this defense forcing them into a C or this offensive line not executing, right? That's the bottom line. 36 CS. So that means Shanley's going to add one to his number here. 61. It's going to be 25. We don't modify there. So zero. He's going to get zero anyway, right? It's a bad roll, period. Holy cow. Second down. We're going to have to pass this ball to McElhaney out of the backfield. And he drops back. 14. The defense shows ground. So we're going to actually uh, see. Is plus one. Wrong defense. Back one. So we break even. This is all on Bart Starr. Bart Starr's uh, shifting his feet. Fires it out into the flat. And no, he's going to get wrapped up and go to the turf hard for a loss of four in a sack. That sack is going to come at the hands of 16, the highest level. That's going to be Atkins, baby. So Atkins with a QS10 buries Bart Starr, and it's going to make it third and 14. Holy cow, Bart Starr gets up, dusting himself off, gets in the huddle and says, we're going to have to take a shot, Billy. The man from Rice, and Billy nods and says, you got it, boss. Here we go. It's a drop back pass. 22. Might be good for these guys. Oh, no. It's CC. So it's going to be plus 2 to Bart Starr. 12. This is going to be bad. 20 plus 2 is 22. Incomplete. Missed an interception by 1. It's 4th down. So Bart Starr has to heave it out before uh, Houghton can finish his brout. It falls harmlessly to the turf. And this is going to wrap up the first quarter. And I love these cards. Absolutely love them. I can just call plays now, and I can make sense of CG, etc. 25 on the punt is going to be 6. Another great punt, 46 yards. 9, 19, 29, 39, and 7 is 46. Down to the 17. So, between their last fielded punt and this one, they've gained a yard already. Let's see if Caroline can make more of it. 16, 16 is, nope, fair catch. So they, last time they caught it at the 16, this time they get it at the 17. The Bears have made a net one yard in the last two possessions. And bang, the gun sounds, and they signal uh, that they're switching ends of the field. I will not. I like to keep it always going the same way so I don't get confused. And, folks, that ends the first quarter. And if you can believe it here, 1958 season opener, the Green Bay Packers are holding off the Chicago Bears. All right, here we go. Let's get uh, Bland. I'm, I have confidence that Bland is going to have to kick the field uh, extra point. So here we go. Uh, give me the ball marker. Or we're going to pitch it out to Gallimore, and it is going to be 24. 24 is going to be nothing. So Gallimore gets whatever he rolls. 
30, this is all on Gallimore as he's finding holes behind these offensive linemen against this bad defense. Seven, Gallimore rumbles for five more. So Gallimore's averaging five yards of carry. Rick Casares up the gut. It's going to be 22. 22 is going to be AG. So they're going to cancel each other out. A column reduces it, but the defense is right, plus one. So it's going to cancel each other out. It's all on Casares. 45, Casares gets the ball. He's uh, running behind tacklers. Pa oh, he gets three, but the ball is pulled loose by somebody on the defense. It's loose. The fans here in Green Bay go bananas. It is recovered by D10. Scooped up by um, Simnack, Johnny Simank of Florida. And he does not have a fumble return, so he falls on the ball right there. Folks, we've had our first major mistake of the game. This coming, uh, unfortunately, Rick Caceres fighting for yardage gets the ball pulled loose. So it's going to be Caceres. Fumble lost, Simank, fumble recovery. Wow, that's 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 a heartbreaker. And this is roughly, again, it's not exact, it's abstracted, roughly, you know, two minutes gone or a minute and a half gone. Doesn't make any difference. All right, here we go. Uh, first down, and what are we going to do when you take it in? Well, we're going to run J J Taylor because we're in field goal range right now. 56, can they draw first blood? BS, it's standard. So whatever Taylor rolls, he gets. 61, Taylor out for one yard, second down and nine. We're going to run uh, McElhaney on a pitch out, and it's going to be 32. The defense is prepared. No, the defense, so good, they keep them in a C column, but they're dropping into coverage, so it's going to break even. McElhaney gets what he gets. 63, this is all on McElhaney, nowhere. Third down, McElhaney cannot find purchase on this turf. Green Bay here. It's third down. We don't have a choice. We're looking for the tight end, Meilinger. Bart Starr drops, sets his feet. It's going to be uh, a plus one to Bart Starr's number here, 63. 63 is 24. Add one. Uh, we don't modify 20 beyond 22, so it is a straight 24. 24 is picked off. 12 yards downfield, so the Chicago defense steps up. 10, 11, 12, and the Chicago defense says, okay, we got to go. we got to go save Rick's butt. After he fumbled that ball away, it's picked off by D9. That's going to be our right cornerback. And that is Jack Johnson picks this off. He has a W3, 16. 16 is 25. He's not going to return this for much. Nothing. But Chicago's stingy defense holds as Bart Starr throws a pick. Starr intercepted by Johnson. And we are in an absolute defensive dogfight. I thought for sure... That was going to dictate the first score of the game, but Chicago's defense, a 42-ranked defense, too good. And I got the cards right now. Uh, they're getting, they're nothing but C's and a couple of B's in here. This team is mostly B's and A's with a couple of C's. So I'm reading, the, I've got the cards right now for this offense, this offense. Just completely opposite of what I thought it would be. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why it reads that way, but all right, here we go. Oh, uh, so big takeaway. And we got to flip the clock as we're starting to wind down the first quarter, or the second quarter, excuse me. All right, we're going to have to throw the ball in the air. We're going to go to Harlan Hill, and it's going to be 55. 55 is going to be AD, so it's going to be even. Back one for the right column, or a good column, but the right defense is going to cancel it out. So it's all on Bratkowski. He drops, sets, oh, and he throws a beautiful floater down the sidelines. Harlan Hill racing. Tips it back to himself, bobbles it, gets hold of it, and takes off. Bratkowski, it's a one, unmodified by A.D. Touchdown. He just throws a back-breaking bomb. Holy cow, folks, of uh, 90. No, that would be, uh, what am I doing here? That would be uh, 90, 87-yard bomb. Holy cow. Bratkowski, 87-yard pass to Harlan Hill at North Alabama. Harlan Hill is a beast, folks. He's an EB4. He's a tight end for. It's fantastic. He was their best guy. And Blanda, I did say I thought Blanda might be coming into play. Well, I didn't think there would be a fumble and an interception between it. Blanda comes out, bang, 55 is good. Let's double check that actually in this era. Yes, it's good. Because this is an older era. 
Wow, and Chicago on the road in Green Bay. That will make the highlight clips at the Saturday Cinema next week. And uh, this will be on the black and white reels before the kids, uh, right? Uh, Opie Taylor would wander down to the movie theater there and, and, and uh, you know, uh, and uh, see his uh, serials, his uh, Alien, Alien Eats Mars movie, and they would have seen a highlight reel of that play. Uh, Opie Taylor. All right, here we go. Yes, yes, I love my Andy Griffith show. Here we go, 62. The kickoff is 23. 23 is two-yard line. Wow, Bland, a beautiful kick. The return uh, by do -do -do -do, Carmichael is 14. 14 is 21. 21 is going to be 17. Out to the 19. Wow, so Green Bay just wasn't a good team. If I remember right, in in, in uh, 58, they were 1-9 or 1 and I don't know. They, were, they weren't good, though. All right, folks, we're at the final roughly three minutes left to play here in the first, and Chicago has burned Green Bay. We're going to pitch it out to Taylor. 22 is going to be, uh, oh, add two to this for Taylor. Dang it. 32 is 26. We don't modify 26 nowhere, and that's why, because it was already a zero run. We don't need to modify those older, uh, those down the chart. All right, we're going to have to throw the ball. We're going to look for a um, Meckelhaney, and it's going to be 32. Let's see if we can get some defense going for us. No. Yes, but it cancels out CG, so it's going to be an even number. So Bart starts. This is all on Bart. 31. Bart drops, sets, fires out for four yards to McElhaney. One, two, three, four. It's third and six. Third and six. We've got to look for Mellinger. Meilinger. Meilinger. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm tired this morning from Kentucky. It's going to be 26. 26 BS. So they got him where they want him. In a base defense, B index. This is fantastic. Bart Starr fires. 56 is 18 incomplete. Bart Starr just not good enough. Fourth down. And again, they're going to have to punt this ball away. They don't have a choice. This will end the quarter, but there could be a, a fumble or a block or a return. So I've got to conclude the uh, actual possession. 64 is 8. 8 is 43 yards, 2, 10, 20, 30, 40, and 1. We do get a return in case it comes back to the house to wrap up this final possession. We're going to use Caroline for this. 41, 41 is 24. He's going to get a couple of yards. One yard return, and the gun sounds, the referee's whistle blows as they discontinue action for this half. And when we come back, we will be at the third quarter. All right, okay, let's keep going here. So what a half. Green Bay on an 87-yard bomb. You talk about feast or famine. I mean, excuse me, Chicago scoring on an 87-yard bomb to Harlan Hill of North Alabama. He is a beast. All right, unbelievable. And what's cool is I don't have to sweat stamina. I'm not having to sweat receiver grades. The cards are dictating all of that for me. Um, and that gives the ebb and flow of what this offense in the trenches, yeah, it, the, the linebackers, the cornerbacks, all matched up against this bad defense, and vice versa. I don't have to sweat. So Harlan Hill's represented not on his B, but it's represented by how well he handles this bad cornerback, right? And A, all abstracted makes complete sense to me. All right, and the Green Bay Packers will get the ball to start. 23 is the kickoff. Blanda, 23 is 20 to the six. Let's see if Carmichael can do better than he has done here. 41. Carmichael's going to go 19. 19 is 25 yards after the 31. Now that is a fine, fine kick return by Carmichael. And Green Bay trots out on the field here. Uh, Bart Starr is probably going to be benched as he has not been what I would call really strong. They did go back and forth, these two quarterbacks. And we're going to have Ferguson and Pirelli ready to come in. And Bart Starr is going to be replaced. Fans uh, collectively talking among themselves as they see it's not Bart Starr that returns to the huddle. It is Babe Pirelli from Kentucky. And the big uh, fullback, Howie Ferguson, in for Shanley. And we're going to start off this half handing the ball off to Ferguson. And uh, I absolutely love these old teams. Guys go and play multiple positions, go both the ways. So cool. All right, we're going to hand it off to Ferguson. 11 is going to be 
CG. So they're in the perfect defense. Plus two, his number. 54 is not going to go well for these guys. It's going to be 22, down to 24. He's going to get one yard, though. So he fights for yardage, does Ferguson. We're going to pitch to James Taylor, or Jim Taylor. 41. 41 is AS. How about that? They're going to get to subtract one from Taylor here. 21. He wants a good number, though. 20. Four, one yard. We don't modify anything else but 11, uh, 1 through 22. Third down. We don't have a choice. We've got to throw the ball to Houghton. Come on, Pirelli. His first attempt of the day is going to be against the standard B column defense. So they're basically playing soft. Pirelli drops. It's whatever I get on this roll. 62 is 20. Incomplete. Fourth down. And Babe Pirelli doesn't fare against this brilliant defense. This defense has completely mangled the Green Bay offense. It's just all there is to it. Uh, only a fumble gave Green Bay an opportunity. All right, they're going to have to punt the ball, and I love that because that's exactly what happened. <laughs> Green Bay was not a very good foot football team. This is pre-Vince Lombardi, folks. That's how big Vince was to this team. 63, 28, uh-oh, 28 on the punt is 26 and down, so it won't be rec uh, returnable. 12, 22, and 4. It's going to be the best field position of Chicago all day. And uh, up by 7 in complete control of this game It are the monsters of the midway. Actually, I believe that nickname came in the 60s, but I love it. All right, here we go. We're going to pitch to Gallimore, and it's going to be 62. These cards change everything for me. I'm, I'm already fast. I'm already simple. The cards take all the defensive shuffling and figuring out. I just got to do the math in my head. 62. 62 is AS, so we get to subtract one from Gallimore. 15 is 7. Subtract one down to 6. He's going to get 8 yards, folks, and that's exactly how this is supposed to work. And we've already seen a lot more dynamism just in my simple charts with these cards. Wow, that's awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, here we go. It's second and two. Uh, Caceres, we got to give Caceres his run. Uh, he is a big, bad fullback who led this team in rushing, if I remember right, 52. 52 is 20. Uh, whoops, wrong, not the wrong guy. 52 is base, wrong defense. So we're going to get to subtract one from Caceres' number. 41 is 22. Back one is 21. Oh, one yard. At 22 is actually better this time. Third and one. We're going to run him again. We're going to get this first down. And it's going to be 65. 65 is A column, so subtract one. And they're in a standard defense, so they just can't handle Chicago here. 54 is 25. We don't modify that. Nowhere. Caceres. That's on Caceres, right? You can see everything matched up well. They had the right execution in the front of the line. Caceres lost his footing. That's what that amounts to right there, right? That's literally on him. Wow. They're going to have to punt on fourth and one. Up by seven, they have a brilliant defense. This offense is inept. We're going to punt, uh, and I am going to cough in corner. I'm going to take uh, 10 off this ball. Um, Brown, it's going to be 44. 44 is going to be four. Taking 10 off is 43. That's going to be at the seven, and they cannot return it inside the 10. So the ball goes out of bounds, bounces to the corner, does exactly how it's designed, and the uh, fans here don't like it as as uh, the, the Bears now are the most likely going to be the next team to score. Been a lot of defense in this game. Both these teams, they just didn't have great quarterbacks. Okay, we're roughly at the nine-minute mark of the third. Green Bay takes over. A turnover here dooms them to uh, abs uh, abject failure. So here we go. We're going to hand it off to Howie Ferguson. And it's going to be 53. 53 is CS, so they're going to subtract one or add one to the chart. 24. 24 is 35. We don't modify 35. Four yards. So Ferguson punches out for four against the stout defense. Got loose from Atkins. And Atkins. We're going to give Jim, James Taylor the power sweep. 13. Oh, 13 on the defense is CS, so they're in a they're in a plus one to this Taylor run. 45 is 17, add one, 18. He's going to rumble for five yards, folks, but it's third and one. McElhaney's going to get the pitch out this time. And right now, they're moving the ball from the seven. That's really good news. 26 is BS, so it's, it's whatever McElhaney gets. As all the blocking negates, McElhaney cuts back as he comes around that corner, and he gets 11. 11 is nowhere. McElhaney cannot get out of the backfield 
as he underestimates the angle of pursuit by Doug Atkins. Good blocks, but he takes too wide a uh, uh, too wide an angle, and Atkins takes three steps laterally. Gasly's jersey and pulls him into himself and falls down. Atkins so big and strong. McElhaney is 197 pounds, and they measure, and the refs say it's fourth down, right? They give that fist uh, fourth down, and they do not have a choice. They are down by seven on their own 16. Max McGee in for the punt. Eight, we're playing it safe, 43 yards. Nine, 19, 29, 39, and four is 43. And the return is 55. This could be huge for Morris. 55 is 11. Going to be a good return. Eight yards. We'll take that. And it is uh, first and 10 at the Chicago 49. And left in the third quarter, roughly two and a half, two minutes. And this defense is shutting out Green Bay, which they should be doing, right? However, I'm surprised that we haven't done better with Chicago. We're going to run the ball. 13. 13 is BS, so we get whatever we get. So good rolls here. Gallimore is all we got to need. Yep, and there it is. He's going to get a three. Gallimore gets a three. Three is 13 yards, 11, 12, 13. So Gallimore almost takes it to the house, tripped up by the secondary. Once he gets into the secondary, we're going to... Uh, uh, you know what? We're going to bring in Johnny Morris, maybe? No. No, we're going to stay with Gallimore. We're going to give him a second carry in a row. They're allowed two in a row. 26. Whoops. Defense. AS. So we're going to get to subtract one from Gallimore's number here. 14 is 8. He's going to rumble for 6 more. Gallimore now 3, 4, 5, 6. Definitely tired after two big runs. And we're going to hand it off to Casares, who's not yet had a big play. 24 is BS, so he gets whatever he gets. Come on, Casares. Yes, 11, 16, 11. He bolts. 7 and 4. Now this running game starting to weed, whittle down the Green Bay Packers defense as we've had a 13-yard run, a 6-yard run, and now an 11-yard run. And Casares is going to get a second carry. 33. The defense might actually be all right here. Yeah, they're in the right D, but it cancels out. AG, it's all on Casares. He plants a foot. Oh, one touchdown. So a one is literally a touchdown. And because we don't modify, Caceres rumbles 21 yards. 21-yard run. Extra point by the man. And now, folks, we're seeing how Chicago's defense is totally controlled. 22. Bland is going to make this. Seven. Yep. Uh, they've dominated the Packers. And they've scored now uh, a bomb and a 21-yard rip for Caceres right up the gut. And that's going to make it 14-0 at the end of the third. Chicago, it's a war of attrition. You know, you just slowly win the field position. You slowly wear down a bad team. And you slowly start accruing points. And before you know it, it's a 17-0. You know, it's a 19-0. It's a whatever, 14-0 game. And man, that's exactly what we're seeing here. This is what it should be. 1958, dominating team versus a very bad team. 55, blandest kickoff is 7 Six-yard line. Oh, poor, poor Green Bay. The kick return, 41. 41 is 19. That's going to be 25 out to the 31 again. Now, if they could just get something going against this brilliant... Well, I'm happy I discovered I was using the cards wrong because it would have skewed the results of this game. Um, and then uh, it would not be as accurate as it is. So I'm happy I figured out I had those backwards. All right, here we go, 31. What are we going to do? We're going to have to run McElhaney. We've got to see if one of these backs has got some ability here. 56 is BS, so he gets what he wants. Just roll a good roll here, 24 and 27. He's going to actually get hammered nowhere, McElhaney. We're going to throw the ball to McElhaney on this one. 22 drops back. It's going to be the right defense and the wrong column, so plus 2 to Babe Pirelli. 61 is 28. We don't modify that. It's minus two sack. One, two. The second sack of the day. Star went down earlier in the day. 56 is credited with this one. The fifth highest man is going to pull down Babe Pirelli. One, two, three, four, five is Fortunato. Six is going to be Hoffman. Jack Hoffman from Xavier, Ohio. 6'5, 234 end. Pulls down Babe Pirelli. 
And wow, wow, wow. It is third down and long. We have no choice. We've got to look for uh, Houghton. And we got to roll that defense. 61. 61 is CS. So again, add one to Pirelli's number. 35. 35 is 11. Add one is 12. It's going to be a completion for eight, but not enough. Six, seven, eight. It's fourth down. It's fourth down, and we just started the fourth quarter. They can, by the way, tie it if they can score in the next two possessions. Or, whoops, we are in the fourth quarter, folks. Sorry. First drive of the fourth quarter. However, or or get a takeaway and a touchdown or something from them, and I don't trust that. So we're going to have to go for it. Fourth, and because we only have two con possessions in the fourth that we can control, and we have to score on both if we want to even tie this game. So we're going for it. Third and four. Our fourth and four, and we're going to be passing for Mellinger. Here it goes. It's going to be 53. The defense, uh, they are keeping this offense down, but they're in a standard safe defense. So plus one to Bay Pirelli. It's going to be 55. That's going to be a completion for a first. Nine. Down to 10 is 12 yards and a first down. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Out to the 49. Bay Pirelli doing a little better than Bart started in the first half. And the fans on their feet rollicking as they're seeing some, some movement against a brilliant Chicago team. All right, we're going to pitch it out to uh, uh, Ferguson. 31, the defense is CS. So, again, we only modify one way. 62, 62 is 17, down one, 18. He's going to rumble around the corner for five, and we will take that. Five yards better than the league average, and that we will take on every play. Jim Taylor up the gut. It's going to be 36. 36 is CS. So, again, we modify just one down. 46 is 35. We don't modify 35. Four yards. Oh, folks. The things are getting tight here. It is third and one. Third and one. And we're going to we're gonna uh, do a quarterback bootleg. He's going to fake the pitch out to Taylor, and he's going to boot around the right end. And 14 is going to be CD. They're in a pass D, so they drop and cancel out the negative of the C column. Pirelli, it's all on Pirelli. Can he QB bootleg for anything? 51, Pirelli, 18. Pirelli goes and dives out of bounds. For five yards and a first down, he runs out of bounds to stop the clock here early in the fourth quarter. And the fans go bananas as Pirelli has completed a third down, a fourth down strike for a first. And on third and one, scrambles for five. Quarterback boots it around the corner for five. Picks up the first down, and the fans go nuts as he's having a nice drive. We are going to run Taylor now. 61, Taylor, CS. So again, we modify it just one point. 63 is 24. We don't change 24. One yard. Second down and nine. We're going to have to put the ball in the air. We're looking for Meilinger, the tight end. It's going to be 44. 44 is CD. So it's going to be plus two to Bay Pirelli's number. 35, he drops, sets, pats, 13. Sit nine yards, strike anyway for a first down. Pirelli having a brilliant day. i got to remember that. I'm going to have to start Bay Pirelli next game. I'll make a note in my margins that Pirelli will be the man to start. He's had a great drive against a brilliant defense. All right, we're going to go for Houghton now. Going to get a little risky trying to get a touchdown here in the fourth. 12. 12 is, oh, they're in the wrong defense, so we're going to cancel out that C. So whatever Babe rolls, we get. 45 is 33. Babe Pirelli gets it. Oh, it's a completed pass down to the four-yard line, and the ball is loose, folks. So Houghton makes a diving catch gets up and tries to fight off defenders, and they pull the ball loose. It's bouncing free at the 4, 44. It's going to be recovered by the uh, left corner who would have been covering him. D8, that is going to be Zuko, man, baby. Wayne State slash Michigan State, 6'1", 187. Victor, Vic Zuko is going to rip loose that ball and fall on it and no return. They're going to have the ball at the 4, and Chicago's defense does it again. As Houghton fumbles the ball away, fumble lost, Zuko recovery at own four-yard line. Holy cow. And that Chicago defense, baby. This is why Chicago was a threat. First down, and that is going to put us. That drive took about three minutes off the clock. First down, and we're going to just pound the rock with Caceres. We've got this game won without mistakes. And it's going to be uh, right defense. So we're going to subtract or add one to Caceres. 24. It's 24. We can't change 24. Up one yard. It is second and nine. Second and nine. We're going to run Caceres again. We just want to be smart here. 
54. The defense forces. Oh, they come out in a pasty. That's how bad these guys are coached. This is why Vin, where Vince Lombardi, where for art thou? Vince Lombardi. Oh, my God. Pasty. So subtract two from Caceres. This is going to be huge. 43 is 20. Subtract two is 18. He's going to get a five-yard run against this bad defense. Holy cow. It is third and um, four. Third and four. We're going to pitch it to Gallimore, baby. 26. 26 is AS. So we're going to subtract one from Gallimore. 21 is 21. Subtract one is uh, 23. And a f not quite. One, two, three. Oh. oh, it is fourth and one. But they're up by 14. They're not going to do anything stupid here. And Brown comes out to do the punting duties. 33 is going to be four. Fifth, uh, oh, 53 yards, 2, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 1. Filled it at the 34 is Carmichael. 23, Carmichael's going to return this for nothing. He tries, but gets nothing. It's not a fair catch. He actually attempted a return and got pulled down, trying to go laterally to get around these guys. And that's another punt. But Chicago has taken away the ball a couple of times, ending decent chances for the Green Bay. And we are roughly the nine-minute mark now. And here we go. Green Bay, we're going to pass the ball to Houghton. The defense, 64, is going to be uh, uh, C. So we're just going to add one to Pirelli's number. 53 is 14, 15. It's going to be a three-yard catch. One, two, three. Houghton turns around at a button hook, tries to make something happen, and gives up yardage, gets three as he's tackled there. We're going to look for Meilinger. We've got to open it up. Babe Pirelli. 63 is going to be forced. Oh, whoops, 63. It's going to be uh, wrong defense, so it's going to cancel him out. This is whatever Babe rolls he gets. 32, we can't ask for better than that against this defense. 20, incomplete. Third down. Third down. And we got to look for Don McElhaney now down the field. Drops back, 41. He starts to move to his right. They're in an A index, so McElhaney's beating his linebacker in coverage. Babe Pirelli has a chance here. 43, pats the ball, fires it out, incomplete, but it would have been picked off if not for that A adjustment. So McElhaney basically fought off the defender and, and kept him from picking it off. It's fourth down. It would have been intercepted on Babe's card. Fourth down. We have no choice. We must go for it as this is the last possession for us. If we can score a touchdown and then get, say, a pick six or a fumble a return or something, we could still tie this game. We've got to look for Houghton, their best guy. And it's going to be at 12. 12 is CG. They're in the wrong defense, folks. Cancels out the C. Pirelli gets what Pirelli rolls. 66. Two, 51 yards. So on fourth down, Bay Pirelli lets it go with everything he has, and Houghton just outraces his man for 8, 18, 28, 38, 48, 49, 50, and 51. First down at the 12. They can get a first at the 2, and the crowd goes bananas as Pirelli's converted his second fourth down of the fourth quarter. A bomb of 51 yards to Houghton. The crowd feeling like they have a chance. We're going to hand this off to Ferguson. 42. What a game. It's going to be C. So we're going to add one to Ferguson's number. 11. 16. Ferguson goes for 11. Down to the 1. First and goal at the 1. And the crowd goes nuts as Ferguson drags defenders down to the 1. Fighting desperately to get into the end zone and stop that clock and get them some points. But too strong is the big, bad middle linebacker by the name of Bill George, Hall of Famer, five-rated linebacker, Chicago loaded with players. Here we go. We have no choice. We've got to run Big Jim Taylor up the gut. And it's going to be 23. It's going to be the right. No, the, uh, they're in the wrong defense. I don't believe it. 23 is a bad number. But it's C column, so they break even. So this is all on Taylor. Taylor lowers his head. He's driving with his legs. 22. He's going to get two. Touchdown, Taylor. Can you believe it? Green Bay scored on this defense with a one-yard run. The extra point is so important here, folks. Paul Hornig, the golden boy, comes out. 13 is 20. Uh-oh. 25. Oh, it's good. He made it. He made it. Folks, you gotta, you, you got to believe me when I say, what are the odds? 14-7. Now, I can onside it, or I can trust maybe they might fumble the punt or the kickoff. Uh, I have to onside the kick. Let's double check. Can he even do it? He has one, two, 
three, four. Wow, he has four chances for them to recover this onside kick. So how my rules do the onside is the ball is just it's going to be uh, it's going to be picked up at the fifty. Either team, no return allowed. So I'm rolling to see if I hit one of the numbers that's automatic recovery. That's all. It's simple. Very, very simple. 43. I don't think that's one of them. 43 is 15. No. Unfortunately, it's going to be recovered by Chicago at the 50. And But Paul Horning gave him 4 out of 36 chances. That's pretty dang good. Got to like that. The golden boy. However, that's going to pretty much end it. All we need is a first down. We have to execute in case there's an interception return or a fumble return for a touchdown. We must execute. But one first down will end the ballgame. Gallimore, 42. Can he get a first and wrap this up? It's going to be standard B, so no modifier. And 11. Yeah, he sure as heck is. 3. 3 is 13 and the game's over. So he eats up. By getting that, that's going to be, that's going to basically put an end to stopping the clock. Game over. And this is time expires, or kill clock. On a kill clock drive. And folks, that turned out to be closer than I thought. There were a couple of times here Green Bay had a chance to make this interesting. The fumble by Caceres down here, uh, but fortunately uh, Bratkowski, um, excuse me, star threw a pick to Johnson. Johnson killed that threat. Then Barkow, uh, Bratkowski threw that bomb that gave him the seven point lead. So they that was basically a, a four point swing because I think Horning makes a field goal there if Star doesn't throw that pick. So that's a four point swing in those two drives. Then again, series of punts going into the third. Late in the fourth, Caceres finally rips off a 21-yard run right down the belly of the beast. Makes it 14-0. And for hometown fans against this defense that had been shutting them out all day long, knew that at that point the game was on the line. Uh, Houghton, though, fumbles the ball at the four, ripped loose by Zuko, who falls on it, and again stops Green Bay's second-best threat of the day with a brilliant Chicago play on defense. Uh, Chicago forced a punt. Taylor, though, Green Bay finally with Babe Pirelli on a fourth and long, hitting a 51-yard bomb, drives him down, and Taylor finishes strong from the one-yard line, makes it 14-7. The onside kick fails. Uh, Gallimore forces them, uh, um, and again, abstract time, gets that first first down, which basically means there's no way for them to stop the clock. The game is over, and Green Bay's the lone score in the fourth, this game ends up 14 to 7. Chicago goes out to 1 and 0. Green Bay falls to 0 and 1. And there you have it folks. Uh, just so you know, Chicago is 36 offense, 42 defense. Green Bay is a 30 offense, 27 defense. Green Bay just a bad football team all the way around. Uh, now you know why you know why Vince Lombardi after the 58 championship game ended up coaching the Green Bay Packers. Thank you for watching. This has been Appa and Coffee in the Morning, 1958 season replay, first game. Bye-bye.